After all the interest in the previous animated GIF videos I did, I thought I'd do a video explaining you know, how animated GIFs work and you know, how you can produce your own in Photoshop so that you, know, you can have your own bespoke animations. So here we are in, in Photoshop and we've got an animated GIF here. And if we look at the bottom here, we've got the timeline and what it's doing, this is showing us all of the different frames of the animation. And they all correspond to a particular configuration here. In this case, they've just got one layer that's applying to each set of the animation, each frame of animation. That doesn't have to be the case. So for instance, if I wanted this frame to have a black background, I can put, you know, click that extra layer. And when the animation plays, it will be like this. And then when it gets to that, it will change black. Okay, so that is how it works. But let's go through how we would produce our own. So I've got a canvas here. And the first thing I'm going to do, if you notice, it's a solid white. And you can see we, we see a little lock icon here. I double click this and click OK. It now turns it into a standard layer. So I'm just going to use the magic wand to select the entire layer and press the delete key. And you'll notice now it shows this strange pattern. And that means it's now a transparent layer, which is what we want for X lights. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to get an image. So I've got an image here. I'm going to select all of that and then copy. And I'm going to paste it onto my canvas. So I'll put this here. Now, all I'm going to do for the demonstration is show myself moving this elf across the canvas. Obviously, I could, you know, move its legs and, and mess about with the position of the fingers, redraw those and uh, that sort of thing. But you'll get the idea. So this is going to be our first frame. So I come down here and I'm going to say create animation frame. And you can see it's created a little picture here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this layer. I drag it to this plus icon here and I've got another layer. And in this case, I'm just going to drag my elf just a bit along and hide this layer. And now if I come here, I can click the little plus button and I've added the next frame. So I'll duplicate again, move it across a little, hide the other layer, add and then I can keep doing this and here we go and it's worth leaving the other layer visible initially so you can actually see what the previous animation looked like and once you're there you can do this and then add and close now Obviously, you could speed up by making a bigger space between each frame, but this is good enough for now. And plus, and I'll just do one more frame. And that will do. And now if we play our animation, you can see we have an animated GIF. At this point, I just want to make sure that I've got them all set to dispose. And now I can just do export save for web legacy and click on save give it a name you know animated elf i'm just going to put it on my desktop save bit of a typo there and if i come to my desktop open up my animated elf and you can see i have an animation and then I could put that on a matrix or whatever I wanted to do within X lights. 
So I hope you find that useful. So until next time, see you later.